Welcome to the floating gardens of Xochimilco. Just one hour south of Mexico City, this is a place you do not want to miss if you're visiting this incredible city. I'm going to show you how to get there, what it costs, and what to expect from an unforgettable adventure on a colorful trajinera and the island of the dead dogs. <laughs> From the historic center of Mexico City, take the blue metro line to the end in Tuscania. From there, take the Tren Ligero to its end in Xochimilco. The entire journey costs only 8 pesos, which is less than 50 cents. Once you've arrived in Xochimilco, there are several small harbors to go to, and street vendors will point you to all kinds of them. The biggest and most popular one is Embagadero Nativitas. The boats are paid by hour and not per person, which means that it gets cheaper for everyone if you're coming in a larger group. One boat usually costs 600 pesos per hour, 35 US dollars, but the longer the trip gets, the easier it is to negotiate. Every trajinera has a table and around 20 seats, so you could either enjoy a quiet trip or celebrate a party with your friends or family. In fact, you're going to see many boats and families celebrating birthdays or quinceaneras, lots of tacos and tequila. While you're on the boat, you get the chance to buy food and drinks, or even rent your own mariachi band. Of course, that's not very cheap, but a fun experience. The park consists of two areas. The southern part, which is quite busy and full of other boats, whereas the northern part is relatively quiet and you rarely bump into other trajinetas. Most people only stay in the southern part. However, the most fascinating attraction and something you definitely don't get to see anywhere else in the world is the island of the dead dolls, or Isla de las Muñecas, which is in the northern part. But more on that later. Since the boats can only go so fast, you should plan at least four hours if you want to go to Isla de las Muñecas, because it takes quite some time to get there and back. During your trip, you're going to see many fascinating and surreal places, like this one, where you can rent small houses for your kid's birthday party. After a quiet trip of around one and a half hours, we finally made it to Isla de las Muñecas. The entry to Isla de las Muñecas costs 70 pesos, or 4 US dollars and it's a horrifying but very interesting small island with around 2,000 dolls. And if you think that's creepy, you're absolutely right. Julia and Santana Barrera started collecting and hanging up dolls in the 1970s, after what legend says he found a dead girl with a doll floating in the canals. He hung the doll up on the island in her memory, but the next day he found another doll and he hung that up as well. He kept finding more and more dolls in the waters and it's said that the girl is haunting the island even today, many curious things are happening, as one guide explained to us that dolls were found in different places than the night before, even though there was absolutely nobody on the island. It's up to you if you want to believe that, but the spooky vibe definitely makes it seem more plausible. Even if you're not a fan of supernatural phenomena or horrors, visiting the island with its half-rotten dolls is quite the unforgettable experience. On the way back, I asked our captain if he would let me steer the trajinera for a bit, and it's a lot more difficult than it looks like. So, in order to make it back in time, I let him take over again. So, we made it back to the lift, which back to the southern part and back to the harbor. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you do not want to miss my future videos, feel free to subscribe.